Well, hello there. My name is Julie and I am on a very dirty, low carb journey. And I just got my tires changed and um, tune up on my car because tomorrow morning at like zero o'clock, we are caravanning with my mom down to Yuma. I'm excited. It's spring break. We're going to go and visit. This is probably the last big road trip in this car. Good old gray because I am getting a new car in July. Absolutely must do that. So excited to make some, I don't know, some final memories in this car. Speaking of memories, I am feeling incredibly nostalgic and also super hormonal lately. I don't know what is going on? I don't know what is going on. I've talked about before how um, I had a, a partial hysterectomy. You know, I had everything except my ovaries taken out for lots and lots of reasons. And um, so I'm not like in menopause, you know, I didn't go into menopause after the hysterectomy because I still have ovaries. And so with ovaries, you do still have your monthly cycle, just minus all, all the nasty bits. Um, but you still can, you know, all the, the hormones, the mood swings, the cravings, the wanting a lot of sex, <laughs> you know, stuff like that, wanting a lot of chocolate, either or, right? Uh, so there's still all that. In fact, in the beginning, you even still get cramps. Not everybody, but I did. And the doctor said, yeah, that's, that's normal. Um, you're like, well, what's cramping? Oh, just your guts. <laughs> because you still have the hormones being produced by your ovaries. So um, anyway, so that, that's that been weird lately. I've just, it's felt like I'm almost constantly stuck in PMS. It was for a while where I was on a, you know, on the same cycle as my daughter and it was pretty consistent. But then the last several months, months and months, um, I, I don't know, I'll have maybe a day or two of kind of respite in between, but then it's back to the same thing and water retention. And anyway, it's really starting to get not necessarily concerning, okay, um, but frustrating and bothersome. And so uh, I am going to be with family and out of town for several days. But when I get back, in fact, I'll probably set up the appointment while I'm gone so that when I get back, I can go ahead and go um, go to the doctor and just, you know, a looky-loo, if you will, run some tests, whatever. Uh, like I said, I'm not worried, but I, I do have to be responsible. And with the fact that there's a lot of cancer in my family, uh, you know, you you got to do the, the responsible thing. I'm not saying that I have any um, suspicion at all that there's something like that, you know, going on, but you have to, you have to find out, you know, I have kids, young kids. And so I need to figure out what the hell is going on, not only for them, but for me, it gets really, really fucking old being stuck like this all the time. Not the sex part. That's great. Um, but <laughs> God, like, um, always feeling this like just so much this hormonal upheaval and upset and then like um the the food cravings and the mood swings and all of it it's just like it's too much and especially where I am trying so hard to do my very dirty low carb so I've had two evenings where I ended up giving in one to um a bunch of dark chocolate Kit Kats and then the other to a bread roll with Doritos in it don't ask. It's, that's what, that's where I went. And so these are, you know, my confessions to you. Um, and it's the, the weird thing was, is the, the Kit Kats, eh, yeah, they were okay, but the, mm, but eating the bread and is this from the hormones? I don't know. Is this more of, um, the, the high of, of carbs, especially like highly processed carbs? I don't know, but oh my God, I felt so good. I felt like a rush of happiness eating the bread. Now that was last night and today I'm, I'm back on track and I've packed a bunch of stuff, you know, our, our food and our snacks. I've packed things for the kids. I'm packing things for me. We'll also stop at the grocery store once, you know, we get into town and, and I'll pick up some, you know, low carb friendly, keto friendly stuff. And I'm bringing stuff for on the way, but 
it, it'll be tricky not in my own house and not able to 100% control, you know, what's going on. It's, it's just going to, it'll be tricky. And especially where I'm in this just weird emotional place and hormone place that's just like this fucking whirlwind in my head of, I don't know, of just, just nonstop the PMS stuff, you know, just crazy making. Anyway, like I said, I will get a doctor's appointment set up for when I get back, you know, do some blood work, test all my levels of whatever they test and kind of feel around my belly and, um, just see if we, you know, can, um, can figure out what is going on and then try to find some kind of solution because we can't do this much longer like this, me or my kids or my husband. Well, <laughs> some parts of it were just fine. <laughs> hey, I told you guys, this is my unfiltered place. So it is what it is, but no, it, it gets old. You know, you, you have more fights and more uh, frustration over every little thing. And then when it comes to trying to get healthy and all of that, oh, that just, yeah, really, it really um, makes that difficult. Anyway, that is where I'm at. That is my keto journal for today. Um, I'll be in touch and I'll let y'all know how it's going. Um, one really hugely positive note, I've been getting so much exercise, so much muscle building with the yard work. Um, I'm excited to go see family and everything, but I kind of hate leaving because there's so much that needs to be done in the yard and I hate leaving it, you know, because I'm, I'm feeling the excitement of working in the yard and kind of want to just stay on a roll with that. But but family, you know, you got to be with them and spend time with them whenever you have the option, the possibility of doing that. So that is what I'm going to do. But when I get back, oh yeah, lots more gardening, lots more muscle building. It feels good. It feels really good. Anyway, have a beautiful day. We'll see y'all real soon.